All right. So in order to do decals, you need a couple of things, right? So you need a cup of water, you need a decal, oddly enough, and you need some setting and fixing solution. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna be using Microset and Microsol, but if that's not what you have, there's also uh, Decal Medium and Decal Fix from Vallejo and some other companies. For many people, they kind of consider Microset and Sol to be the gold standard, but that doesn't mean you have to use them. I also like them because they're not expensive, and unless you just decal a lot, those battle bottles are gonna last you a really long time. So this decal I made myself um, on printer using decal paper, and then you, um, you put some sealant on it. And so normally you wanna try to cut it the decal as close as possible to whatever the the picture is like in this five you would just cut straight around it but in this case I wanted a white circle to be around the five and I used uh, white decal paper so by cutting it in a circle I will get a circle around the five that's white and it takes care of exactly what I need and so to start you put the decal in the paper and you let it sit and sit, and sit. Right. So decal solutions are made up of a setting solution and a softening solution. I'm gonna start with the micro set. If you're using something like, like a Vallejo, then they would be the one called decal medium. I'm using just a regular old brush and the model has been varnished already and you go over it, make sure it's nice and wet. And then you wait, you wait. And you wait. So when you think that's ready, go ahead and, now sometimes it'll slip off while it's still in the, the water, but in this case it didn't, so you can just kinda pull on it just a little bit, very gently, and it should slide right off. If it doesn't, you can put it back in the water and just wait. So you start off, you wanna put it right into the wherever you want it to ultimately be, right? Try to get it as close as possible to where the final location is gonna be. Now you can see, uh, I think it's a little high. So I'm gonna wet my brush, wet the whole area again with micro set. And then sometimes you can just jimmy it over with your finger a little bit. In this case, it doesn't wanna go. so. I'm gonna use my brush to get underneath it and actually just kind of get it over to where I want it to be. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now sometimes these are, um, they shouldn't be that soft when you're just using setting solution. So you should be able to move it around a little bit. Okay, so I get it nice where you want it. And then using the setting solution, again, start in the middle and you're gonna go outward in every direction, basically moving any air bubbles out. If the air bubbles are too big and you can't squeegee them out, then you can pop them with a small pin. And then you wait, wait, and wait. So after the microset dries, you can be done with the applying portion of the decal. But uh, in this case, I'm gonna add some layers of Microsol. It helps to soften the decal so that it takes on some of the textures underneath it, which helps it to kind of blend in a little bit and look like it's been uh, painted on rather than just a decal that was put on top. And also um, helps to kind of make sure that it, it won't move around as much in some of the later steps. But you do the exact same thing, start in the middle, work your way out, um, make sure you don't introduce any air bubbles. And afterwards, you let it dry. Like I said, Microsol makes it super soft and it will form into every crevice and divot. So as an example, I made some signs from decals uh, for the ground and for, uh, I made a test piece. So you can see here, um, it was made with just like rocks, 
on a piece of plastic card and I put the decal on top of it and I softened it a lot with the microsol and it's totally fixed on it won't come off but you can see all the cuts from the rocks underneath because of how soft the decal gets <clears throat> it makes it um, it completely takes the texture of underneath uh, as an example another example I also made the exact same decal into a sign um, so it's just on a piece of plastic card with some coffee stirrers painted like wood so you can do lots of different things with decals depending on how you want it to look all right and so just to make sure that uh, the decal is completely good and softened i'm going to um, apply a few layers here now you can use expeditious drying methods if you like for microset or saw like a hair dryer or something like that but you need to know that once you put microsol on a decal it needs to be where it's going to be like i said it gets so soft that it will rip if you try to move it like i said i'm going to put a couple of layers of microsol here letting them dry between and then we'll be done with the application portion Okay, so that's dry. Now just because the decal is on there doesn't mean that it's at the end, right? It can still look like a decal that was just placed onto your model. So you can use more and more uh, Microsol to try to blend it in. But one thing that helps blend is actually varnish. So you put on some different layers of varnish and it helps blend it in. And it also helps to lock the decal onto the model so that it doesn't peel off later, right? You don't want to be doing something and see it peeling off. Now to also help blend it in, you can use the decal like a stencil or almost like a stencil. So if you see the flames here at the bottom of the, of the mini, um, the Sentry Bot was intended to look like a, like a hot rod car, like, uh, like an old style one and I got these white decal flames and I put them on and they were just white and then I painted the colors of the flames onto the decals so that way you can't actually see the decal on it it just looks like flames and it provided a good you know way to make it look correct all right I'm gonna airbrush the varnish I'm gonna start with gloss since it's nice and hard. And I provide a good, good covering. And you can see it's pretty done. <laughs> it's pretty much done because of how small the area is. I'm actually gonna go ahead and varnish some more of the model so I don't waste it. And actually I wanted the model to have a gloss finish at the end. You know, once I start airbrushing, I just can't stop. varnish and I don't need to do any more of the model in matte so it's just a itty bitty tiny little bit and that's it once the varnish is dry I can apply some paint to it and not worry about the decal so I'm gonna touch up the black on the five since I made the decal on my printer you're sometimes at the mercy of your printer and it has some spots that aren't quite as black as I wanted and for this, you want a paint that's very fluid. So I'm gonna be using Vallejo Game Air Black. I could go with an ink or put a regular black on like a wet palette, but I don't want it to run just to flow really well. You can see me touching up the parts that just kind of look a little pixelated because of the printer. And since it's furnished, if I make a mistake, I can go back and fix it. That's a five. Can't say that ain't a five. So I don't have it on camera here, but I'm gonna also go over it with some, uh, with a gloss varnish to seal in that paint and to bring the whole area sheen up to match the rest of the model. Model still has some steps to go, but as far as decals are concerned, 
it's all done. So if you like this, please go ahead and give this video a like, maybe leave a comment. You could even subscribe to hear more of my voice. You can also see what I'm working on by just checking out my social media. I have links to Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and all the others available via Linktree down in the description. Thanks for paying with me. I'll see you next time.